is going on grinders welcome back to another edition of grind time with me jw i'm jeremy whitaker your host and today i want to talk about something that's near and dear to me um something that 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 i kind of live by on a weekly on a monthly on a yearly basis right I've heard it said the way that you leave one season is the same way that you are going to start the next season, right? In that case, if that is absolutely correct as far as a hypothesis, then I need to expect that when I'm leaving a season or when I'm entering a season that I need to gain momentum 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 look this is what i try to teach as pace setting today that's what we're going to be talking about just setting the pace how do i set a certain tempo in my own sales career in my own business that i can carry out that will help me to complete the task at hand the assignment the overall goal that i have for my week for my month for my year, right? I'm sure everybody would agree that it is so much easier to go into a week already ahead of schedule. Here's what I mean. My goal every week is to do $10,000 in premium. That is my ultimate goal. Now, I've got a commitment number, but my goal is to do $10,000 every week single week. By the way, I believe every agent can do $10,000 every single week if you have the recipe and the routine set up correctly. The other cheat code is to set the pace, right? $10,000 is my goal. If I can go into Monday and say I've already got something from Sunday written, whether that be $1,500 or $2,000, Now my psyche is different waking up on Monday morning because I've got this goal of 10,000 and I only need to do 8,000 left, right? It's crucial for you and your business to have those types of wins that you can go, man, this is going to be a cakewalk. I'm already 2,000 ahead, right? For you to be able to tell yourself that is crucial. Now, it's a thousand times easier to go into any month where I've got this big lofty goal, $40,000 I'm going to be doing in premium this month. If week one I did $15,000. Oh, it feels so much better on week two knowing that, hey, I'm already $5,000 ahead of the game. This week I'm getting ready to crush it again and I'm going to be $30,000 by the end of it. Right? Because I did 15 last week, it reinforces to my mind that I can do 15 this week. And I set up the same routine, the same pattern of what I did last week to go out and do 15,000 this week. And if I execute, now I'm at 30,000. Even if I only did 10,000 or 7,500, now I'm still ahead of the numbers themselves. I can rest, I can breathe a little bit easy, right? your year. If you go into the year and you say, I want to do $500,000 this year, Jeremy. I'm going to do $10,000 every single week and I'm going to have two weeks off. It's possible. You can do it. But it's so much easier if you go out and you crush it in the first quarter. You went out in the first quarter and you knocked out $150,000 and you are the woman or the man in this situation. You know that you can do 150 and a quarter. You're already so far ahead that you can smell the next 150 in front of you. That is called setting the pace, right? In any given quarter, if I go out and I have a killer first month of the first quarter or the second quarter and I smash out my goals and I put myself within 30% of the goal or 35% of the goal, I'm already ahead by at least a couple percent. Now I'm telling myself we can do this thing again. 
So here's what here here here's what I want you to leave this this episode with, right? If you're taking notes, this is the time to pull out those pens and start up taking notes, right? See if I lead the first part of my week, what are the results? The tangible results of what happens while I'm out and eating with clients. Well, number one, if I start out and I set 15 appointments, this, this, here's what I do. I, I want a Friday, I'm going to dial, right? Friday uh, for about four hours, three to four hours, I'm going to be on the phone and I'm only locked away into dialing and setting appointments. I'm not doing anything else. My focus is solely on getting off the phone because I've got things that I want to do on Friday and I won't, I, I won't not be transparent with you. I will go ahead and tell you a lot of those things that I'd rather be doing has nothing to do with production or dialing or booking appointments, but I want to set the pace in my week. I want to attack this thing from ahead of my week instead of behind my week, right? I want to go into Monday knowing that if I don't have something sold, I've got 15 appointments Monday and Tuesday, right? Already set that I'm not chasing my week. Right? Because if I can go at my week from ahead, what happens is I gain some confidence. Now I don't need uh, this one particular cell to be it for me, so I'm confident about who I am. My posture is different. My posture becomes a posture that says, hey, I don't, I don't really, I'm a professional and I'm here to help you, but I'm not depending on you to purchase anything, you know? I'm here to put your family in a better situation, but listen, it's, it's also a, a sort of a privilege for you to have some of my time. What that does is it puts me as a professional. Listen, do I want to do business with the person who feels like they are overwhelmed and bills are due and man, they don't have anything really going on their schedule or do I want to do business with the person bills are paid, right? They're talking about my finances and helping my financial fee. Their bills are paid. They, they ain't worried about their next dollar, right? Their posture is just different. That's what I want to affect right here. It's just that posture. And because if I can affect that posture, if we can change our posture, then I can change my closing ratio. All of a sudden, I'll go from closing at 20% to closing at 40, 50, 60%. Right, 70%. All in changing my posture because people can really see it when I'm desperate, right? Because on the other hand, if I'm chasing my week, what does that create? It creates stress, right? It creates this feeling of insecurity. I don't know what's gonna happen. I hope I can get something accomplished. And you start to, to, to think some of these negative thoughts. And in doing so, my posture is absolutely the opposite. People can smell the commission breath on me. Therefore, my closing ratio is going to go down and I'm going to get more people pushed back from wanting to do business with me. Setting the pace is crucial. It's crucial. It's crucial that you purchase enough leads on a Friday so that you know that you're going to have enough appointments Monday, Tuesday. I love to start my, my Monday off already having business on the books. So that means I'm gonna have to sacrifice a few hours on a Saturday or Sunday, getting on the phone and running a virtual meeting or two and saying, hey, this is Jeremy. You know, the same thing that I would be doing on a Monday, but I'm doing it on a Sunday. I'm doing it on a Saturday. And what I found is on a Saturday and a Sunday, people are, are a little bit easier to get a hold of, a little bit easier to commit to a time during their day. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a perfect time to catch a majority of our consumers, our clients at home together. If they're family or a couple, they're going to be together on the weekends in a lot of cases. It's, it's, it's the perfect opportunity. And if we can take advantage of those moments, if we can take advantage of, of being in the right place, right, on a Saturday or Sunday, just thinking of my weekend different, 
Maybe for me some weeks that means that my weekend is actually on a Wednesday and a Thursday or a Thursday and a Friday when I actually said, hey, here was my two days. It doesn't necessarily have to be on Saturday. It, it could be on, on, on Sunday and Monday that you're getting ahead of your schedule, right? Whatever that kind of looks like, but going, putting yourself in a posture to where when you know, hey, I'm not going into my Friday stressed out because I need to make something happen or Thursday and losing sleep because I had a rough week, getting ahead of your schedule at the very worst, what it'll do is, is you'll notice, hey, I'm, I'm short of my goal and it's Wednesday, and I've ran all of my appointments. Guess what now you can do? I can pick up the phone, I can find some more appointments, I'm not stressed about it because I got plenty of time because I was prepared for this. Listen, if you will set the pace in your business, you're gonna set a tone, a tempo for yourself on how it is that you can create the life that you've always dreamed of, why it is that you came into this business if you'll begin to set the pace in your own business, your own life, and duplicate it. Listen, that's the thought for today. If you got some value out of it, I'd love to hear it in the comments. If you hadn't already, click that bell. If you hadn't already, subscribe. We're gonna be putting out more and more content it's going to be valuable. I can't wait to see you on the next episode. Go kill.